Igor Sobilansky, the director of Eastern Business, which is in our main competition program. Uh, then we have uh, Juliana Tarnovici, the producer of the film, uh, and Konstantin Bukashku, the actor, uh, and uh, Felix Abrukowskas, uh, who is uh, the director of photography. And, Doug, uh, and your name is? Sorry. Dagne Viljurne. Uh, Dagne Viljurne, the co producer. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so I will now. Ask right away. Do you have any questions? Because there are questions. We have a lot of questions. Okay. Uh, so, Igor, could you tell us about your film? Uh, like, uh, what inspired you? What motivated you? Why did you choose this story? Well, thank you for uh, for questions. I <coughs> this story started. Uh, maybe eight years ago, well, but uh, we uh, started to shoot it, or we started to produce it two years ago. Um, it's a comedy, and uh, I don't know if you, if you uh, watch it. It's a comedy, I think it's uh, uh, some kind of... Uh, um, black comedy? Black, maybe, and um, eccentric. It's a style, uh, I think, not very, very popular now, but if you uh, remember uh, the latest uh, years of, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, they were, they were uh, uh, popular, this kind of, uh, of uh, styles of, you know, of comedy. Um, I started, I started uh, the script uh, with a real story, uh, that I a little bit changed, of course. Uh, it's a dramatic story about a man who uh, tell me uh, his, uh, his, uh, his story. He uh, bought a mm -hmm. He bought a um, um, track of uh, horse shoes, horse shoes. It was, it really was in Moldova. Well, and he tried uh, in this way to be rich or to change his, uh, his life. Well, it's a dramatic, it was dramatic uh, because uh, he didn't succeed that. He didn't manage that, but... Uh, she lose everything. Yes, she lose everything. Uh, even his uh, family was uh, really, really, oh, was destroyed, yes. Well, this is a story, this is a tale. So the question is to Mr. Bukashu, uh, uh, how, how, how do you think uh, the fate of uh, your character will uh, envelop after the film? Yeah. Like, uh, how will we do in the prison and what, 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 what fate has more for him in store? <laughs> yes, my character, you, you know, is, my character balances uh, the comics in, in, the, in the movie. Um, me and uh, Mr. Sabdaru, uh, the, the, another uh, character, principal character in the movie. Uh, we like uh, Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. Uh, they are um, more, more uh, comics. I am the sad, I am uh, in uh, many uh, emotional character, my, my character, yes. Ah, I, I don't understand, sorry. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I told uh, Igor and uh, Juliana, I, I think about uh, my character. What's happened with, with him, um, where he go out from prison? <laughs> I think uh, he's completely changed. I think a strong man because I believe um, a few years, uh, you, you, if I stay in a prison, if I, um, with uh, these people, 
I, I think uh, more uh, destroy the, the people, I think the prison, destroy the, the character, destroy the uh, emotions. Um, I, in that in that way, I I say I see the, my character very strong. Uh, maybe uh, the roles changed me and uh, another guy. I to be stronger, and uh, another guy, Petro, uh, Mr. Sabdaro, I think uh, is slower. So it delayed. I'm Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, thank you, Shinji. Yes, it's a better Hmm. Uh, perhaps that is uh, the question to the producers. Uh, was it hard to get funding for the film? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty hard because this is a film that, as Igor said, was belonging in the past to someone else and we love so much the script so we had to took it over and to finance it in our days seven years later when the money have different value so uh, we started to look around for co-productions we tried with uh, with uh, i don't know different countries around and uh, I actually, I have to admit that in the last moment where I had no hope that I will finance this film by the end, I asked my, my dear friend Daphne here if she thinks there is any possibility to, to, to find some, some uh, money in Lithuania. And actually this, this happened and uh, we uh, ended up getting the money from Lithuania and getting uh, uh, Felix Az as a DOP and a lot of other services and we complete the financing and we, we had also a little support from Moldavia. So we have a very unusual co-production, uh, uh, Lithuania, Romania, Moldavia, pretty unique in, in, in our days and uh, we are uh, pretty proud of what we succeed to, to do with this film. So the, the story of the film is set in uh, Moldavia. Moldavia, but uh, it was shot in, in Romania. Romania right? yeah, yeah, could you tell us why? Financial reasons. Mm. <laughs> it's for pragmatic reasons. Yeah, yeah. it was very, very, I mean, it was a, a kind of business decision because uh, Moldavia, it's not in uh, European Union. It was pretty difficult to, with all the money that we have collected to, to spend it on in Moldavia, we had to spend it in Romania. Uh, most of the money with Lithuanian services. Of what, I mean, but we, Igor did uh, uh, all the best to find the best locations that they are really, really 90% uh, uh, close to the real location in Moldavia. So that was a struggle with the locations, I have to admit. Uh, but we did it. Actually, um, all the people ask us uh, how it was to shoot it in Moldavia, it was hard or not. And well, I uh, answer that uh, uh, any frame was shot in, uh, in <laughs> the yeah, it was everything was shot around Bucharest. Well, mm. yeah. we find no, it, it was not easy to, to find the location, and uh, but uh. Uh, no, I, I think it's not so hard that I uh, illustrated in this uh, in this movie. I think it's, um, but it's in the same time it's interesting to to, to stay and live in uh, in, uh, in Moldova because this kind of people are in uh, in Moldova, but it's not so uh, how to say so dark and. Uh, and you don't meet them every day, but... I, I think you have a good imagination for... And, <laughs> and we explore it, yes, we explore it. Uh, have you received any feedback from Moldavians themselves? Uh, film... the movie did not... Uh, was not uh, yet screened, released. yet not screened in Moldavia. We are uh, very curious how the uh, audience uh, reacted. Yeah, I can I tell that. you about the Moldavians living in Romania or working in Romania, and we, which is 
pretty big community uh, now and most of them they, they saw the film because we travel with the film in Romania and Moldavia, in all the important cities in Romania and Moldavia <coughs> where actually uh, many of um, Moldavian living in Republic Moldavia had the chance to, to see it and they are uh, uh, really connected with the story, with the characters and they really enjoy it and they felt probably more than uh, other uh, people the, the bitter sweet comedy uh, that actually this film represents and uh, represents them in a way. They understand better the humor because uh, uh, the film is uh, spoken in Moldavian which is Romanian but with different accent and different uh, um, meanings for some words and uh, they, they get better connected with, uh, uh, with the language uh, than the rest of the Romanian population, let's say. So for them it's really important. I'm, I, I'm really curious about the impact of the film when it is going to be released in Moldavia. I think it's going to be uh, uh, very well received. And it's curious, in every town where I was with the film, uh, everyone uh, asked us uh, the, the continuous, the, the film. Uh, sorry. The if we're going to have a sequel. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. So will you? The second, yeah. Will you have a sequel? Ah. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's debatable, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. The, the title uh, refers to not this specific country, but Eastern, as in uh, probably Eastern Europe, of because exactly. a lot of the features are uh, these myths or cliches thrown at Eastern Europeans in general, not only Moldavians. So how would you comment on that? Are you more talking about Moldavia or are you no, actually... I think, I think I don't talk about Moldavia. I need some geographic point for, uh, uh, for I don't know, for tell a story. But I think it's a story about all Eastern uh, European country. Uh, we have, we have uh, the same past, if you understand me. Um, and we are uh, similar, um, or we have similar points, I don't know. Um, it's not about Moldova. It's about uh, a transition, for example, from communism to capitalistic system, or I don't know, value. Yeah. And how each of of, of, uh, of us understands how is to become an entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, I have a question to Felix. Uh, how would you say, uh, how did you, uh, in terms of cinematography, how did you relate to the story and the topics in the film? The, the style of cinematography actually came from Igor's idea. When we met first time, he said that uh, we don't move camera on this film. We usually shoot uh, as, po as much as possible wide angle shots. We never uh, move camera, pan, or, uh, or dolly. Then we decided uh, during the process that we will, we will do some close-ups anyway, because just uh, in case if, uh, no, you know. And then we move it dolly also, but only when the actor is moving left to right or right mm -hmm. to left. It's, it was like five shots. so. So general idea came from the director, so this is probably the question to him, why he decided to change Romanian style of shooting from documentary <laughs> handheld style to this kind of classic, uh, classic uh, static camera kind of uh, cowboy movies. But, uh, but I like it idea, so I, I was involved with this idea, and uh, then we decided to do a 2.35, you know, the academic, uh, not academic, but cinescope format, because it's... Uh, the nature and the two people uh, exactly fits there, you know, for the long, uh, long format. So, and then during the process, we develop how we wanted to do. But yes, we didn't touch the camera. I didn't touch the camera. We just place it, and that's it. You just put the light. <laughs> put the light. But yeah, I think it works for the story. It works. It's just kind of uh, like a painting. Each each uh, frame is like a painting. We don't move camera. Only people moving there, or a couple of people, or or one person. And it helps, it's kind of, you know, you kind of a bit sit back, you know, and watch like a painting. You're a long shot, you're watching, you know, for the long time. It's not, it, if it's, it's, if it's, uh, if we will shoot uh, like a documentary style, it will be different. It will be, now you feel kind of pass of time. 
that this, this story, it's a bit older than it's uh, nowadays. Like, uh, like Igor said, you know, he wrote the script maybe like eight years ago. So that you feel now, because if it's documentary style, nowadays style, so it could be, you know, a bit uh, more fake, because you, then you feel, ah, it's the kind that happened nowadays. So maybe like this, I don't know. Igor maybe knows more why he decided to do no, for this. No, uh, that works because uh, my feeling is that these two persons are so in this large area and we don't need uh, uh, you know how to say to, to move the camera because um, because they uh, become I mean a person part that, of the nature part of the nature and become uh, more uh, trist, trist, sad. sad more sad yes not the yeah Alone in, in, in the uh, frame. Alone, in, <laughs> not in, just in the frame, in this uh, wild world. This Eastern right. wild world. Eastern yeah, world. Perhaps also the staticness is kind of a metaphor for the characters and the society. Yeah. 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 So we have any questions? The man who plays the main character? You mean... Uh, no, uh, no, the businessman who buys the... Who buys the midget. Ah, midget. Yeah. Yeah. The little man. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. No, he's, he's not a no. um, professional actor, but he's an actress. Yeah, he had, uh, had uh, some experience in movies and films, yes. Even in Terry Gilliam movie, like he said. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even yeah. in yeah. Terry Gilliam movie, yes. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. he's mm. not a professional, yeah. But what about the rest of the actors? Uh, what's their backgrounds? Are they actors, or did you use any? Um, they are all the most, yeah. the most, uh, the most uh, actors are of course professionals. And uh, what it, it's interesting that I try to um, uh, bring uh, the actors from not from Bucharest, but from uh, Provence. Yes. From the rural areas. From the rural mm. areas or from the towns. The small villages or whatever. The small villages there. Yeah. <coughs> I think the, 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 the majority, the majority, the majority. The, the majority of, uh, of actors are for the first time in, uh, in front of the camera. And, um, for the first time doing films because doing films, they are, exactly. they are uh, professional actors uh, in theater plays. And uh, I have to say also that uh, Igor was looking for Moldavian actors, able to speak uh, Moldavian accent. And, accent. Accent. Uh, and we cast uh, all over Romania and also all Moldavia for all these Moldavian actors. So the actors came also from uh, Republic of Moldavia to, uh, to, to Romania, but also Moldavian, Mo Mo Moldavian actors living in Romania, or like Tiku, who's not Moldavian, uh, 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 he's Moldavian Romanian, <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but he's, uh, he's a great actor in Yash, which is a different city than, than Bucharest. Romania. Did I answer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do we have any more questions? as we are lagging behind our schedule a bit. But um, maybe uh, last question, uh, what will be your next projects? Are you planning to do anything together or? Fortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we do have two projects that we are thinking to, to see where and how we're gonna develop and finance. We are trying with one of them to get some money as we speak from the National Film Center. Uh, and it's not going to be a comedy this time, it's going to be a drama love story. Uh, but we'll see. And there is another one that Igor is preparing, uh, uh, but that is going to be for the next years, the second one. So yes, we do have some plans together. And Constantine? Yeah, uh, now I play in the theater. And I wait to for uh, Igor ones? call me. <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> <And> for <Yes. Yana. laughs> yeah. no. Yes. 
now we no I don't make a movie now okay and Felix says I'm doing some movies in the day and yeah but <laughs> yeah but could be nice to do again yeah. project with Igor because uh, we kind of you know I don't know what, what you feel I think we stick together quite That's nicely and uh, what's no problem some kind of you know creative problems it can happen you know because I first time saw him, you know, just before shooting, like one month before shooting, read the script, come, and if uh, this no connection, so it's hard to work, actually. But uh, we went nice, you know, drink a couple of beers, you know. And <laughs> so we hope we'll be another project with Igor, but, uh, you know, who, who knows? Yes. I hope uh, you will return to the festival. And uh, I would like to thank you, and thanks to the press, and uh, I wish you a very, very eventful and nice premiere tonight. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.